Now that Pinterest has retired idea pins, you may be wondering how to create video on the platform. Well, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to create video pins in four different ways using Canva. These are super simple methods that you can utilize very easily. Now, pro tip that I will have you pay attention to. You want to film your own video. Primarily, just film it on your iPhone or your Android phone or whatever it is. The cameras on these phones are so good these days that you do not need a fancy vlogging camera like what I'm filming on right now. So I would just suggest that you just film some clips. So watch the video, see what I'm talking about on the four different methods for filming video pins, and then just utilize your phone for filming the video content. Also, wanted to let you know that I do not believe that standard images are going to be the only thing preferred by Pinterest going forward. With the retirement of idea pins as we knew them, they created one unified pin builder where you can upload video or images. And with that change, it still tells me that Pinterest is going to also prefer video. So just like images, I think that video is still going to be very important going forward. In fact, I still think video is important and they've actually enabled pinners to be able to leave the platform so much easier now. If you watched any of my former videos, I used to say and follow the philosophy that if you were going to use video as a form of Pinterest pin, it should be very much top of funnel content or awareness content. However, I no longer stand by that opinion. I actually believe that you can create full funnel content utilizing video now. And the number one reason is because right here on the screen, it actually says save or visit and you can actually visit videos straight from the pin without having to click the three dots and click visit this link. Pinterest has really streamlined the ability to leave the platform from any pin type now, which is fantastic. So without further ado, let's dive into the screen share where I'm going to show you if you are a content creator or an e-commerce seller, how you can create Pinterest video pins utilizing Canva. So each of these video pins that I've got examples of, I'm actually going to show you how to make them uh, each version for yourself. And I've done a little bit of the legwork here for you so the tutorial video doesn't take too long. So on this example right here, this is just someone took, went out into a field, set up their product, and then filmed some video of their product in the wild. So what I want you to do is get a Pinterest video pin template or just a Pinterest pin template and you're going to insert a frame. I would suggest inserting a full grid frame into the background. And then in this example, we are just gonna be using Canva's video um, se selection. So I went and I found a video that can work for this example. So um, in this example, I just stuck a gardening video in there. So whatever your text overlay is, you're gonna put that on there and then stick your video in. Ideally, for this example, you would have video of your own product. That's what's going to make this work the best. I've added a text overlay now. I'm assuming this is some sort of vegetable plant. I can't really tell without playing the video. I added the text overlay. The only thing that I would suggest that you do after this is add your logo. Now, some people's Canva accounts are going to make you go to the brand hub to find your logo. I still have this feature here, so I'm going to go and just add one of my lighter colored logos and place it and put it in place if obviously I don't do gardening tips, but that is example number one. Example number two is actually a video I filmed on my phone, face to camera, and then I dropped that into my Instagram editor and fully edited it using Instagram. And then I downloaded um, that reel when I was done and I put it into Canva so I could add some additional stuff onto it. So here is that video. This is the original and there were two different versions where I actually um, tried out different colors in the text overlays and then I put that um, bar on the bottom for the text. So this is probably the easiest of all of them. You just film some sort of video on your phone, face to camera, and then you can add that into Canva and make whatever edits you want to make. The next video example is um, 
this definitely probably was an Instagram reel or a TikTok video, but you don't actually have to do it in TikTok. I have some uh, videos ready to go to show you actually how to make the same thing, but just in Canva. So what I would suggest doing is creating a mobile video template, like opening the mobile video template. And the reason I want you to do that is because you get multiple video pages. So however many videos you have, that's how many pages I want you to add. And then to each page, make sure you add that grid on. That way you can just drop your video in. Then I've already actually gone and up and found videos for this. However, in this example, we're using Pexels. If you don't have video of yourself and you're still wanting to make video pins, free copyright free websites like these are a great way to get videos for your content. Alternatively, you can also use the videos within Canva if you want to. I just I don't like that they took away the ability to filter by um, horizontal or vertical videos and I don't know how to find them now. So it's a little bit harder for me to find videos in Canva. So for this example, I'm just using Pexels. What I did was I found a video with the same girl doing multiple different poses in the same outfit so it looks the same. What I'm gonna do now is actually just drop these videos on the slides. So I'm just dragging them into Canva here and then they will all begin to upload over here and you can see one of the previous videos I actually made similar to this. So to show you again, inside of Pexels, I actually clicked on one of those videos. I just clicked on the creator's name and then on their profile. So if you find someone with a video you like, if you filter here down into videos, you can actually see all of the content in a similar series. So if I wanted to do yoga for retired people or something of that nature, I could do that like yoga for men and I could get all of the yoga videos for that guy in that series and make a cohesive looking idea um, out of those, a video pin out of those. So I've now uploaded all of these on and we will want to put some sort of a call to action on the end. So whatever you want your call to action slide to look like, I would definitely add something on there. Okay, so I have this video, uh, these videos ready to go. So now what I wanna do is actually start adding some text onto the screen. And with Canva's new editing features, you can actually make this look like you made it in Instagram. If you go to, if you add your text and go to effects, you can add a background to it and then you can control the roundness um, if you want to edit that as well as the background colors. So you can definitely make this branded to your own profile and brand fonts and, you know, brand kit, whatever you want to call it. So you want to start out by adding your headline and then make this video pin just like you would any other Pinterest pin. So in this example, we're going to have a beginning slide that has the same yoga move as the second slide. And then I'm just going to cut off the same amount of um, seconds. So I'm going to cut off two seconds from the front. So it's going to be 3.4 seconds roughly. So the transition is smooth when you play that. And we'll have to just edit that a little bit. It needs to be that 3.4 seconds. Either way, um, you perfect that a little bit and then you change the text overlay to be whatever the pose is. So in this example, it's three yoga poses for hip pain. Um, so then you would put the yoga pose name in here and then you would do that on each of the slides. And then on your call to action, you can add the same text box there and have a call to action. So if you wanted to say, save this for later, whatever you want your call to action to be. And then if you wanted to get fun with it, you can actually add some elements. And then of course, don't forget to add your branding again, because we don't want to create content on Pinterest where people don't actually know who we are or who we represent. We always wanna make sure that our brand is represented nicely. So I would suggest including a logo of some sort on each slide or at least your URL. And then you would download this as an MP4 video. Now, a couple of things to note on the Pinterest desktop builder, the new unified builder on the platform, 
You can only upload one single video on desktop. However, if you wanted to make this same exact pin on mobile and just pull in all of the videos from your phone, you could definitely do that. And then you wouldn't use Cam at all in that situation. You would just use the native builder on your mobile phone. Select all the videos in the order you want them to be in. You can add music, add stickers. That will definitely be a later video. I'm only going to show you in this case how to upload your videos using the native uploader on desktop. So in this case, I just have a video example right here I want to show you that I already created previously. We're going to open this up and then we would fully optimize it however you want that to be optimized, whatever your content is. So make sure you add your Pinterest title, your Pinterest description. If there are any other notes that you want to add, this is a great place to do that. So in the notes section, I actually add any details. So maybe how many moves you would do, how many times you would do them, or if you're e-commerce, what details about the product do you have in your listing that you can grab? What is the fabric? What size is the chain? What's the length? What's the washing information? Those are the notes that would go in here. Whereas the description is for you to use to input your keywords and write a full Pinterest description about the product. You're going to add your link. You're going to choose your board, tag your topics, and then you will obviously publish it at that point. So I just wanted to make sure everyone was aware of exactly how to upload your video pins on Pinterest with the new unified builder that is going to be coming out to everyone probably by the end of June. Okay, moving on to the last example. This one's actually super interesting. It's an image and a video in one, and I found this to be very uh, compelling. So you can show the after product once it's completely done, and then you can show the process. And you can actually, you're not stuck to using just tall video in this case, or vertical video. So here's our example for this. And what I did was, um, this is a travel template. I just pulled it out of Canvas templates to make it, this example super easy to comprehend and understand. So what I did was I went into elements and I found a video to match. If you have your own video, that is ideal. We want our own video here, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using stock video. And then your photo, you would drop your photo in here, you would drop your video in here. And then, um, so if this is travel, great. If this is food, you could do food. Um, I actually, in that same exact um, example from earlier with the, the um, fitness girl, I found this guy, these really great photos of somebody making um, pancakes. So if this was an image and a video, you could definitely utilize some stock um, video and imagery here if you have content to match, of course. So in that case, we would just stick in, we would assume that one of these is a video, like that's an image and then this would be the video, right? Um, but this is just using a double grid inside of the elements section. So if you go into your frames or grids, it's this double grid option here. So if you wanted to make this from scratch, that's the grid that you actually want is the double grid. And then obviously change your text overlay and make sure that is good to go. Um, obviously you need all of that to be in the front. So if you're having issues with your layers, you can always go to position and layers and you can find your layers here, or you can select the items and then hit the command and the, the icon. It's, it's this icon right here. Sorry. It's that block, that square bracket um, command in that square bracket brings all of those items to the front of the screen. So anyways, little hack for you there. But those are the four styles of video pins that I wanted to show you how to make very easily using Canva. Uh, this is obviously I think you should be using your own video if you have it. So now that you know how to create video pins in Canva for Pinterest, Ooh, that's a mouthful. You're gonna wanna know how to upload that content and actually optimize it to the platform. You can go and watch this video right here where I walk you through how to optimize your Pinterest pins using keywords on Pinterest. And I will see you over there.